Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the RC Genius, and uh, today I have in front of me a new RC. Um, I just finished the rebuilding series of uh, rebuilding my Tamiya RC car. If you haven't seen uh, that build series, check out the playlist right up in the corner. Um, however, the build series, the, the, the chassis of that car is extremely fragile. It's probably going on 30 years old, I think. Um, and so the plastic is just not going to be strong enough to bash. It's perfectly fine to take out on the street and do some speed runs and stuff like that. Maybe a few little jumps, but uh, it's really nothing that I can just bash around with. And I wanted that to to I wanted that buggy to be a uh, a basher car that I don't really care about. But just today I was at my oops just hit the camera. Just today I was at my hobby store, uh, my Hobby Town USA. And uh, I just did a video of what I got there, and I got this little uh, mini buggy. It's uh, it's kind of their brand. Uh, the guy at the hobby store said that this was their brand, uh, Animus. And I don't really know what this car's called. Um, it says Mini TR Full Size Speed on there, but I don't think that's what the car's called. Uh, I'm going to guess it's probably the 18 TR. Um, so today we're reviewing the Animus 18TR. It's a mini buggy or truggy, um, and uh, I'm gonna be opening it for the first time with you guys on camera. I have not seen this except for on display at my hobby store because uh, I did see this on the counter. I was like, hey, I want something small that I can bash around with. Don't have to care about if I get dirty. Um, I don't have to care about getting it dirty. And uh, fine replacement parts, not too expensive. Uh, this car was ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, there were a cup. There were two other um, little Animus uh, mini uh, little cars. Um, one was a monster truck, and the other one was a short course uh, Daiquiri edition slash type of truck. But uh, both of those were a little bit more expensive. They did have headlights and tail lights actually, and that was really cool. But uh, I was told that the chassis of all three of those models are the same. It's just different tires and different bodies. So I think along the road, maybe we could change the identity of this car um, and maybe get uh, a body and some tires. So right out of the box, though, I'm going to hope that this thing's ready to go. Don't know what kind of battery plug it's going to take. I hope I don't have to go and buy an adapter. Um, I'm sure it probably comes with its own charger. But we'll find out right now. So, first time, a uh, quick view around the box. Um, you kind of have a little shot right there of it driving. Uh, the guy at the hobby store actually said this thing can get up to about 25 miles an hour. So, I'm impressed to see that. Uh, this Today is not going to be a running video because it's almost nighttime. Uh, it's almost dark outside and it's raining. So, I'm not going to be able to drive it today. Uh, also, a couple little check marks here that they put on. It's actually a Helion. Uh, vehicle as well, so I'm going to guess it's probably an EC3, maybe, uh, connector, I don't know. But, it's a US product, nice to see that, and I got the blue version, you can't really see the check mark there, but there's a red, blue, and yellow. Uh, the one on the box is red, but I got the blue, I've, I've only seen the yellow and the red, so I don't know what the blue is going to look like. And also, a couple of the little specs of the car, the motor's a 370 uh, brushed motor, uh, batteries, uh, 1100 milliamp hour, 7.2 volt nickel metal high drive, um, wheels, length, height, we don't care about that. Um, alright, so, let's just go ahead and open it. Uh, it has a little handle on the top, don't care about that though. Let's pitch the camera down a little bit. I have no idea which way this is going to open, but I'm just going to cut the seal. Like I said, this is the first time... I have opened this. I have not opened this at all. And also, you might be wondering, this is my first review and unboxing. Uh, not really. I do have one other review and unboxing my first video on my YouTube, on this channel. Um, and I unboxed my little uh, Dromeda drone, uh, Kodo HG HD. Uh, be sure to check that out, that video out. It's the very first video on this channel. Okay. 
pull that out. Looks like it's going to open from the top. And open like that. Okay, not bad. That looks pretty cool. Take this thing out. Wow, everything is packaged inside very nicely. Um, looks like we have the instructions from Helion and also a couple little tools to service on it. So that's nice. That's going to be like my tenth uh, little screw thing. Uh, antenna tube, alright. We also got an antenna tube. Empty box right there, so throw that out of the way. And let's see, how are we going to get this out? Looks like we have to cut this little zip tie right here on the bottom. There we go. And does it run through the vehicle? I don't know. Okay, I know that the remote's under there. How do I open this? Here we go. Can the remote just come out, or is it held in still? Uh, wow, they really secured this thing. Um, there's one zip tie there. I don't think that's my issue, though. Let's see if it opens up on this side. Okay, there's something here. I'm guessing this is probably going to be a charger. For it. Let's open this up. That's not really going to work, is it? I'm just going to have to tear it open. Alright. Yeah, looks like a charger. Small little uh, wall charger, looks like. Unfortunately, because can all RCs come with these slow wall chargers. Oh no, it's a um, uh, it's a Dean's connector. Nice. I think I can actually charge a Dean's connector. I don't know. However, uh, actually, that's pretty nice. It's a nice little charger. They have uh, uh, the red LED means there's no charge or no battery's bad. I don't know. Yellow means it's charging, and green means it's done. Alright, that's nice. Okay. Alright, yeah guys, so um, the charger is just a little um, Dean's connector and I actually have a bunch of adapters uh, that I can put on the end of uh, the battery and hopefully uh, be able to charge my RCs. So, we have that. Uh, worst case, I use their charger, but it might take a little longer, but I don't really care about that that much. Uh, now we have to take the remote out, if it will come out, because it seems like it's kind of hard to come out. Um, oh, that's why, because it's... Man, they really packaged this... This buggy pretty well. There we go. Now it should just slide out. There we go. We have a remote. Um, this looks like it's going to be kind of like my drift car remote. There we go. Yep. Wow, that's actually a pretty big remote. There's the remote. It's actually really big. Let me get the Traxxas uh, remote. I wonder if it's bigger. Eh, no. Pretty much the same, but it does have the little flap right there, um, the on-off switch. I don't believe it comes with batteries, so we'll just put our own batteries in it, but that's fine. Um, you've got your steering dual rates, your throttle trim, uh, doesn't look like there's any, um, doesn't look like there's a uh, throttle dual rates like the drift car has, but remember this is a buggy. Um, steering feels pretty good, throttle not bad. Um, how many double A's? Ooh. Does it really take eight double A's? What kind of battery is that? 
I think that they are double A's. Yep. Now to the car. I believe I have to take out one more zip tie from the bottom and then we will be all set to take a closer look at it. There we go. And now I think, yep, there we go. Get rid of the packaging that they packed this car very well in. There it is. It's a, it's a pretty small little car. Um, let's take the body clips off. Wow, those are really small body clips. Look at that. Those are tiny. Um, here, I have, this is a smaller, uh, I can get it, smaller Traxxas um, body clip. That's a pretty small body clip that comes with this car. And take off the other two. Here we go. Take it off. You also have a little plastic cellophane on top of it. Wow. That's a really nice little body. That's really cool. Has a little fin in the back held in by a couple screws. Um, transparent glass on it. Antenna hole looks like it's right there. Um, pretty small little body, but again, this is a small little car. Uh, here is the antenna. Looks like we're going to have to put that tube on there. Let's get the camera to focus back on the car. Um, you can see the little motor in there. Uh, looks like... Um, hmm. You can run a lipo on this car, so that's pretty deluxe. Uh, I don't know how to... Okay, I believe it's on lipo. Now it's on nickel metal high drive. It's really hard to see. But if I put my light in the camera to focus, you can see right there, it says lipo nickel metal high drive, and there's a switch. And that is pretty cool. There's a bind button on there, and then also the on and off switch. So that's pretty cool. This is a cool little car, guys. Alright, let's just quickly see if it'll turn on. Also, something I'm very impressed with, look at the aluminum shock caps. For such a small car, they still went through the trouble and put aluminum shock caps, so I think this thing's going to be pretty durable. You've got the uh, side-mounted steering servo, um, which is going to help uh, against um, bashing it against a wall. And a uh, tiny little bumper. Bumper's really small. Four-wheel drive. Uh, actually, it doesn't have locking diffs. Um, well, no, it's actually not bad for wheel drive. It's pretty good. Alright, let's see quickly. And also the battery uh, little compartment is right here. And for a closer look up at the battery, there is the battery. 1100 milliamp hour, 7.2 volt battery. There is the Helion Animus uh, 18TR, So, and it is a Truggy. Alright, thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you like this little car, and I'll see you guys next time on the RC Genius.